Welcome back to Geometry. Long time no see, folks. So today we're going to start a new topic, and it's called dilations. We spoke about dilations before, and we said that dilations just make shapes bigger or smaller. In this case, we have to dilate triangle ABC by a scale factor of 2 using vertex A as a center. So key words here are center and scale factor, right? These are the key words that we have. So every time you dilate, you need a center and a scale factor. Okay, well, we're going to use A as our center and our scale factor is 2. What does the scale factor tell, tell us? Well, the scale factor tells us how big or small we are changing the figure. We're making it, we're changing it. So, two, what does two mean? Does the shape get bigger or does it get smaller? Well, the shape is going to get, we will see in a second. <laughs> the first thing to do is connect every point to your, to your center. Now, sometimes your center may be offset. It may be outside of the shape, just like in the, just like here, right? I could have my center here, and then I would have to connect every point to the center. Now, since my center here is A, I don't have to connect it to the center because they're already connected. Now, what do I do? Since my scale factor is 2, I know that my shape is going to get bigger by a scale factor of 2. So it's going to get twice as big, and... That means that I need to make my segment go out because I know it's going to get bigger. I know my shape is going to get bigger, so let me extend those segments that are going to get bigger, right? So I know segment AB is going to get bigger, but I also know segment AC will get bigger. So let's see what we do with our compass here. Let's take our nice little compass and place it on the center. So take your compass, place it on the center, and extend your compass up to a radius of AB. Okay? Now that's the distance of AB. What do I want to do with that distance? I want to double it. So let's double that distance. Okay? Let's take that distance and double it. So that means I take my center and I move it over to B. And boom, there it is. Mark that. And guess what point we call this? Well, that's right. You call it your image point, B prime. And you do the same thing. You go to A, and now we also need to extend the other side, which is AC. And let's make that. Let's mark that distance. Now, after I have that, I need to double that size. There is my image point C prime. I have my pre-image point C and my image point C prime. Pre-image and image. Let's not forget about those two things. Now, lastly, what do I need to do? Because I'm trying to make a triangle that's twice as big as the original one. I'm trying to make my image twice as big as my pre-image. So let me connect those two, right? Let me connect those two. And now I've come up with a new triangle. And that triangle is called triangle A, right? A, B prime, C prime. That is my new triangle. And it is twice as big as my older child, my pre-image. Okay, let's now talk about how do I do a scale factor? How do I change my shape with a scale factor of two? Same scale factor, but a different center. Now again, my center is at B. My center is at B. What do I need to do in order to change the shape and make it twice as big? That is your job, okay? Make this shape twice as big as the other one. All you have to do is copy the same shape on your, on your notebook <clears throat> and with your compass, 
make it twice as big using a scale factor of two. 